My name is Ann Lochner and I'm a board member of the Advocates for Human Rights, uh, but I'm also a volunteer attorney. I took my first asylum case uh, 15 years ago, right out of, uh, right after I was sworn into the bar, um, and I'm currently handling another matter as well. I'm representing two sisters from Honduras. The younger one is only 24 years old. Uh, she uh, has been through amazing uh, things. She's witnessed her cousin, who is a politician, assassinated in front of her. She saw and went with her family to collect the body of her brother, who had been shot 33 times by armed men. Um, she's had other cousins and other family members shot and killed as well. Um, but she, she's always been tough as nails when telling me her story and just smart and um, really an incredible, incredible woman. She fled to the United States with her one-year-old daughter, um, but she has two younger kids at home that are, I believe, four and six. And while we were talking, she asked me, she said, is the judge going to ask why I didn't bring my other two children? And I said, she might, what would you say? And she said, I, I couldn't afford to bring them. And so I asked her, I said, how hard was it for you to leave your other two children behind? And for the first time, after telling me all sorts of horrific things that she'd been through, she couldn't speak. Her eyes filled with tears, and she really had no words to express what she had dealt with. And at that point, it really hit me that here in the United States, it's so easy for us to think, I would never leave my children behind, or how could someone leave their children behind? And what I realized is we have the luxury of asking those questions because we never are put in a position where we even have to think about doing that. And here, that tells you how horrific the conditions are that some of these people, including my clients, are dealing with when they decide they are better off and their children are better off. That's the more important part. Their children are better off if they were to leave them behind, come to a country that where they've never been in the hopes that they can get some sort of protection here and then bring their children um, with them.